Now we'll be to go find one of the boys we really lose. Just like we'll find the rest, we're gonna find Sami. We're gonna need Yusuf's help. So here we have Yusuf, you see Yusuf amongst the crowd. To help show us the places that we're gonna go to, to help us find Sami. And I know there are many other boys that we know there, but today we're gonna find Sami. And then every day, it's someone else. So right now we're gonna be getting ready to go see Yusuf. Big Yusuf guys, and Yusuf is gonna take us to the streets. And he knows the streets better than we do, because that's why he's used to stay here. Hey, whoa. And then he's gonna show us the places we can find Sami. Still heading out to the streets, we must find Sami. Streets here we come. Careful of your tattoo. Careful of where you part. Yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Careful of where you part. It's too late. Hey, uh, mission looks really possible. We're heading with very close to Batumba where we hope we're gonna find any leads. That's what we're hoping on. So we are better than Yusuf right now because he's been there. Lead us there and let's hope we find something good. Be careful of the people you know, cause no one ever really ever fall. Be careful of the places you go. Be careful of the places you go. Be careful of the friends where you keep. Be careful of the people you know, cause no one ever really ever fall. This is the Mudura Bridge. This is close to where we found Yusuf. So we're gonna start asking for information from here, heading forward until we get to see if we can find something. This is the Yusuf's home friends. If you see from a distance, he's gotta to talk to one of the kids. We're gonna try and seek information from any of them to see if we can track down something. Come with me. This is Moses, he was one of the kids who was at the center. Hey, he's looking scared, but he's oh got a cool guy. He's Martin's number, this kid had it in his pocket, so they stay in touch. So Martin has been waiting for his call, we're gonna find out why he hasn't called. Still, that's in the search for something. It got us stronger. We went from Maduro to Gikomba to Riverside. Right now, where we are, it's Riverside. And we met two other boys that we know, and the way they look, I cannot describe. But we just found Sami. In a few minutes, we're going to talk to him. And our search is almost coming to an end because we found whoever we're looking for. This is not the end of it. We're going to come every moment for every other boy, depending on what the plans are. Please. Gentlemen, is Sami Neko. Is it beautiful? And it took us a uh, big piece of time to walk through the market, fly over the bus stations, and finally here. Converting from what he is right now and into something else. And until then, we'll see you. So, we're in the process of leaving our contacts to these friends of the boys because the boys sleep in here. And looks like a bunch of them that we knew dwell here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave our numbers, work them on the wall, and we're going to write them in the book just in case they rub off on the wall. And I'm writing mine now. That way they can reach us. Because we need to do something with this boys. We need to transform them from looking like they are now into absolutely responsible adults. This here is Daniel Moon, one of the kids who are at Joseph and Center. Rainbow. To the streets. For him to survive, he collects copper wires, burns them, gathers them, and one kilo affords him 350. That can help him survive for a week. So that's what it does to egg out a kilo. Daniel has been in the streets for a bunch of months now, ever since he went from the center. This is 
as much help since the fire. If both, if all you guys out there think these kids are criminal, then this is one of the ways they find their own money. So you got it wrong. So instead of holding up your car windows when they beg you, help, see a way, find a way with which you can help them. And you do one thing or the other, they have to run away. This is how they do back in the streets. But our dream is one day to get all these kids to a place that is safe, a place they can stay, a place they can get permission to do anything they want, and a place where both us and them will have a good relationship. And this is just the beginning. We're looking forward. If they're gonna, there's going to be luck. Okay, okay, okay. They're all our friends. We want to get them to one place, a lovely place that can change their lives, where they transform and get rid of things like this, blue, and of course replace it, as I previously, previously said, the blue coat. Because this stiffens them and this harms their lives. And that's why we're going to campaign to just rehabilitate them first and make sure they have a change of life. This is Riga representing Trace, Peace, Bros and Sisters. So excited! I'm, I'm so happy that I don't know, but I'm so so happy. And today has been one of I don't know how I can call it, but part of my greatest day at the same time, part of my saddest day, seeing. And meeting all those kids in the streets and they all eating out. Knowing that in the back of their mind there's nothing you can do. Just look at them and just